In this class, we will learn how to compute the elastic settlement for piles and for a group of piles. Elastic and consolidation settlement of piles. Now, we will learn how to compute the elastic settlement. The total settlement of pile under a vertical working load QW is given by elastic settlement SE total elastic settlement equal to elastic settlement 1 elastic settlement 2 plus elastic settlement 3 where elastic settlement 1 is the elastic settlement of the pile and elastic settlement 2 is the settlement of pile caused by load at pile tip and the third one related to load transmit along the pile shaft if we have pile single pile we will speak about single pile this is single pile the elastic settlement of single pile is the elastic settlement in the same pile in the same pile there is elastic settlement the second elastic settlement is in the soil under the tip of the pile and the third the settlement is in the soil around the pile the first one related to the pile if the pile is concrete the elastic settlement in the concrete material and the other two settlements is under the pile and around the pile if the pile material is assumed to be elastic the deformation of the pile shaft can be evaluated in accordance with the fundamental principle of mechanics recall the following equation elastic settlement or delta L delta L equal to P L over A E this equation for example there is a structural member subjected to axial load the deformation in this member will be P the force P multiplied by L the length of the member over A this area of the the section area of the member and E modulus of elasticity of this member here A is the area of the pile section pile EP is the modulus of elasticity of the pile the concrete for example L is the length of the pile here Q is a Q working load point plus plus percent of QWS the load here comes from point load load carried at the pile point under working load condition and load carried by friction resistance and their working load condition percent of that ap is the area of the section pile as the length of the pile it is the modulus of elasticity the magnitude here the magnitude of xi is between 0.5 and 0.67 therefore the q here is the q point 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 load and percent of skin friction load and will depend on the nature of the distribution of unit friction resistance along the pile shaft the settlement of the pile caused by load carried at the po pile point may be expressed in the form the second settlement can be obtained by this equation q q in kilonewton per meter square kilonewton per meter square 
multiplied by d over modulus of elasticity. QW may be written as Q at working pile point over A area of pile can be this equation can be written as in this form D over modulus of elasticity 1 minus Poisson ratio square multiplied by I it is similar to the above equation but the above equation for for elastic material for concrete for pile and this is for soil for soil we have an addition term 1 minus Poisson ratio square multiplied by IW D is the width of the pile QP is the point load per unit area of the pile QWP over IP ES modulus of elasticity of the soil not of the concrete because this elastic settlement occurs in the soil under the pile under the tip of the pile and mu is the Poisson ratio of the soil IWP is the influence factor equal to 0.85 According to Vizek in 77, this is a semi-empirical equation. Can be used also to compute the elastic settlement, the second elastic settlement type, the second type of elastic settlement. The third settlement can be obtained from this equation. QWS over P parameter multiplied by L this is AS surface area Q over S multiplied by D over ES Q working load S skin friction D over P L E PL is the surface area multiplied by 1 minus poison square for soil I W S not W P P is the parameter L is the embedded length of pile I W S influence factor Note that the term QWS is above, in above equation, is the average value of F along the pile shaft. The influence factor has a simple empirical relation accord <coughs> according to Vizek. IWS equal to 2 plus 0.35 square root L over D. And there is also an empirical equation to compute the elastic settlement number three now let us take an example to explain how to use these equation the allowable allowable working load on a pre stressed concrete pile in l the l meter long that has been driven into sand is 500 to kN. Allowable working load. The pile is octagonal in shape with D equal to 356 millimeter. Skin resistance carries 300 skin resistance. 350 kN of the allowable load. And point bearing Cast the rest. Modulus of elasticity of pile equal to 21 multiplied by 10 to power 6 kilonewton per meter square. Modulus of elasticity of soil 25 multiplied by 10 to the power 3. Poison ratio 0.35 and xi equal to 0.62. Compute the total settlement of the pile in terms 
of in term in term of length of pile to compute the ultimate or, or to compute the total settlement first we have to compute the area of the pile since we have octagonal octagonal uh, octagonal section pile we have a table according to this table because it is octagonal with 356 diameter the area equal to 1045 and the perimeter equal to 1168 because it is octagonal and we have table for these piles we use the table to get the area of pile cross section and the perimeter given q equal to 350 is the skin friction therefore qp will be the total bearing capacity minus a friction bearing capacity equal to 152 total bearing capacity minus friction resistance component give us the point resistance 152 elastic settlement one equal to a q working point resistance plus 0.62 psi is from 0.5 to 0.67 or 0.67 the value is given in this equation for xi is 0.62 so 152 plus 0.62 multiplied by 350 multiplied by length of the pile if you solve it in length you uh, replace L and the result will be in the unknown length AP is the area it is obtained from the table and the modulus of elasticity of pile is given equal to 21 multiplied by 10 to power 6 gives us the result of elastic settlement in meter multiplied by 1000 gives us the result in millimeter this is the elastic settlement one the elastic settlement two equal to a q w p or q w p over area or q in kilonewton per meter square 152 over modulus of elasticity 152 in newton so we have to divide it by the area 0.1045 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 minus 0.35 square poison ratio multiplied by 0.85 gives us 0.0155 multiplied by 1000 it will be 15.5 millimeter the third settlement depend will occur in the soil around the pile depend on the friction component and can be obtained by this equation IWS can be obtained from this empirical equation 2 pl plus 0.35 square root L over D if L equal 21 D equal to 0.356 gives us 4.69 elastic settlement number 3 equal to 350 divided by the perimeter multiplied by length of pile multiplied by diameter of the pile over divided by 25 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 1 minus 0.35 square multiplied by IWS 4.69 now hence the total settlement equal to settlement 1 plus settlement 2 plus settlement 3 3.35 15.5 plus 0.84 
we found the following that the elastic settlement 2 is the greatest one elastic settlement 2 which is related to the soil under pile this is the pile the elastic settlement in pile is the is equal to 3.35 millimeter the elastic settlement in the soil in the soil under the pile equals 15.5 millimeter which is greatest one and the elastic settlement due to the friction resistance res uh, friction uh, force here the citruses because the citrus is here there is an elastic settlement in the soil around the pile this elastic settlement is 0.84 the total settlement equal to 19.69 we can write the elastic settlement in one equation elastic settlement equal to q working load p plus percent psi q working load s over a of the pile and modulus of elasticity of the pile multiplied by length of the pile plus q w p the load carried by point the soil under the tip of the pile area of pile area of the pile multiplied by modulus of elasticity of the soil multiplied by d 1 minus poison ratio square multiplied by i w influence factor w p plus q w s over area of s skin surface area parameter multiplied by l modulus of elasticity of soil multiplied by d 1 minus mu square multiplied by i w s some students when they want to solve this uh, like this question they have a mistake for example in the modulus of elasticity of the pile or of the soil you have to use modulus of elasticity of the pile for the first term and for the second and third modulus of elasticity of soil some of them they replace q in kilonewton for example without divided it by the area some of them has have a mistake in iws and iwp we hope you have no any mistake when you want to solve like this question thank you to compute the elastic settlement of uh, pile groups we can use the equation proposed by Vizek in 69 the settlement of a group pile under a similar working load per pile increases with the width of a group and also with the distance between piles from center to center 
as the width of the group increases, the elastic settlement increases also. And as the uh, distance from center to center between piles increases also the elastic settlement increases. Several investigations relating to the settlement of group piles have been reported in literature. The simplest one is by Vizek in 69. Elastic settlement for pile groups equal to square root B is the shortest width of the group of piles over D is the diameter of the pile multiplied by the elastic settlement uh, obtained for single pile. Let us take the following example. Consider 3 by 4 group of pre-stressed concrete piles, each 21 meter long in sand layer. The details of each pile and the sand are similar to that described in previous example. In the previous example we have we, we computed the elastic settlement for single pile. The working load for pile load is 6024 kN. It is obtained from uh, from this equation the number of the number of piles 3 multiplied by 4 equal to 12. Multiply 12, the number of piles, by the allowable bearing capacity, 502, leads to the result of ultimate bearing capacity, the working load. D is the distance between pile and pile. If we have, for example, here, four piles and three piles three one two three by four D is the distance from center to center means distance from center to center equal to three times D D is the diameter of the pile. Use the equation proposed by Vizek in 1969. Square root BG is the width of the group of piles. The shortest width, this width. This is the length LG of the group of pile. And this is the width of the group of pile. To compute the width of the group of pile, here the number of pile 3, 3 minus 1, means two distance from this point to this point, from this point to this point, 2. The distance from center to center is D, therefore 2D, plus d over 2 from this side and d over 2 from this side equal to 2 d over 2 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 d plus d equal to 7 d since the diameter of the pile equal to 0.356 multiplied by by 7 we get the width of the pile groups equal to Pile group equal to 2.492 meter. Replace this value in the equation. Square root 2.492 over the diameter of the pile multiplied by the elastic settlement for single pile gives us 52.09 millimeter, which is the elastic settlement for a pile group.